Hello YouTube. I just want to make this quick video to kind of highlight my progression in knife making and knife modifying or pimping if you will. Uh, just show where I started from and uh, where I've eventually ended up uh, so far over these last six months since I started working on knives. Uh, this is the very first knife that I um, I worked on. I bought the knife blank uh, for about eight bucks and then uh, got some some cheap hickory and made these these scales for the knife uh, very basic very blocky but uh, it was the first attempt and uh, it taught me some of the principles and some of the methods and techniques for uh, for doing this kind of work so that was the first attempt after this knife here I moved on to another knife blank from the same manufacturer uh, this one here now this one, uh, I did add a finger choil, which wasn't there initially. And then I added some jimping to the back of the blade. And uh, I threw those hickory scales on there. And I uh, just used a darker um, stain. So it's a little nicer. Um, the edges are a little bit more rounded. And uh, just a little more refined than the, uh, the first attempt. Still kind of blocky and basic, but... Uh, Definitely functional on a knife and uh, definitely quite comfortable. And I made this uh, simple leather sheath for it. Basic, but uh, it, get the, it gets the job done. Now, after I did those two uh, knives, I decided to try and make my own knife from scratch. So I bought a bar of 1095 steel and uh, I made this one here. Now, I just freehanded the design onto the 1095 steel. Um, didn't do any measurements, just kind of drew it on there. And uh, started cutting away and uh, tried to put a hollow grind on here. You can see how inconsistent it is. I was using a bench grinder, a small bench grinder. And so it's uh, it's rather inconsistent. But for a first attempt, I I think it's nice. It, it works. Made the handle scales out of homemade micarta. I took a, a black t-shirt and then layered it with some denim and uh, alternated between the black uh, t-shirt material and the denim and just stacked them, uh, pressed that with some fiberglass resin and uh, made these scales from that, cut it out, sanded it like wood. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. I like the effect it has. Uh, the whole knife's kind of thick, a little bit too thick, uh, but I don't want to change it now that it's done. Uh, what's done is done. I don't want to go back and um, redo anything that I've already done because I think uh, once I finish a knife, it should kind of uh, just stay the way it was. But this is uh, is very sharp. I heat treated the blade and uh, got a, a wicked edge on there. So it is, uh, it is a, very, a very sharp knife. And uh, pretty happy with my first attempt at uh, the, the stock removal method. Um, I like the way it turned out. After this one, I decided to try the stock removal method again. We'll make a smaller knife, something I can carry regularly. So I came up with this little guy right here. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Um, the edge on the knife is kind of uh, rough, but uh, overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It's a very functional knife and it's, uh, it's quite comfortable. Made from the same 1095 steel. Uh, this time I put sort of a, a flat grind, almost scandy grind uh, on the blade. You can see some of the deeper scratches in there. Um, but for a user knife, I, I don't mind that. It's very comfortable. And uh, fits my hand quite well. It should. <laughs> it was made for me. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. I uh, made the handles out of my card as well using um, the same black cotton t-shirt. And then... Uh, I alternated that with a black and white zebra print handkerchief, actually, which is why I have this kind of sporadic uh, pattern. Once I milled down in through the layers, uh, it gives you that kind of sporadic pattern. So I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but I think it turned out turned out pretty well. Um, I'm happy with it. I like the pattern. And then I made a simple leather sheath for this one as well. So I do carry this from time to time. Um, Happy with how that turned out. After that knife, I decided to get into modifying some production knives. And so I moved on to some cheap uh, folding knives and I decided on the 
uh, the Rat 1 and the Rat 2 from Ontario. This is the Rat 1 that I did. And I made these scales from, uh, once again, black t-shirt material, and then this orange fabric right here. Uh, layered that with a black t-shirt, and uh, this is what I ended up with. I think it gave a, a pretty cool effect. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And then after that one came the Rat 2. Now this was black t-shirt with uh, a blue silky material, which turned out quite dark once it was finished, but uh, still happy with it. Still lightning quick, great lockup. Yeah, let's try that again. There we go. And I did some. I did do some modifications to the blade on the Rat One. Uh, dropped the tip down just a little bit uh, to give it a better, um, in my opinion, a better blade shape. Uh, I like that drop point there. And then I also needed to shorten the blade a little bit to make it legal to carry in this state, uh, which is the main reason I did that. But uh, yeah, that's the Rat 1 and the Rat 2. So, in progression. Got the first knife I did. And the second. And the third. And the fourth. And the fifth. And then the sixth here. So that is the evolution um, of my knife making and customizing. Uh, I don't plan on stopping here. So uh, eventually my next step, I'd like to get some other production folders and then uh, probably buy some G10 from an, a retailer so that uh, I get a nice consistent material. There are some imperfections in the uh, my card that I press myself. Sometimes you'll get air pockets and uh, the loose fabric you get when you sand this is... Uh, um, I would just like a more consistent, more quality feel that I would get from like a G10 that I bought. So I plan on trying that next, um, getting a production folder and making a, a G10 handle scale for that. And uh, who knows where we'll go from there. But uh, for now, that's where I'm at. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys are interested in, in uh, trying to make your own knives or modify knives or anything like that, I definitely encourage you to try it. It's an excellent hobby. Um, so give it a shot. I do have a video on making a, a custom homemade knife. Uh, I did a video when I made this knife here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have videos for anything else. Um, some of the, the other knives I've, I've since made. But uh, there is that if you can get anything from it. Um, if you can learn anything from it, uh, great. Uh, but yeah, I definitely encourage you to get out there and try it. And uh, have fun. Thanks for watching.